Let's have a closer look at the new F1 safety car for 2022 and answer the question why it's taking safety car aerodynamics to the next level. The F1 safety car has traditionally been a powerful road car to lead the F1 field. It's important to be quick around the course so the race cars behind it don't lose too much temperatures in their tires and brakes. And they have enough airflow to cool their systems. Of course, safety cars need to have warning lights on their roof to give certain light signals. They use large light bars as we know it from other emergency vehicles and this is where the aerodynamic problems start. Previously, police cars and safety cars used to have a single light on their roof, which had little impact on the overall airflow. But over time the light bars got bigger and disturbed the airflow significantly. Some of them almost looked like towers. These devices on the roof don't just add weight at the highest point and hence increase the center of gravity, they also increase frontal area and drag coefficient significantly. The airflow is separated at the highest point which causes a huge weight behind the car. So if I add emergency lights on top of a saloon car, the weight can be as large as an SUV. This large weight also means that any aero devices that are located downstream can't do their job anymore. Now, aerodynamics of these signal lights improved over the years. The large towers became lower and rounder and also got a kick up in front of it to guide airflow above the lights, similar to a gurney flap. Ambulances even completely streamlined their roof lights. And lower cars started to have an air gap between lights and roof. That way you can recover some of the original roof flow reduce drag and have streamlined shapes for lights and mountings. This is also what F1 safety cars did until now. But for 2022, their safety car takes another step. The new vehicle is the Mercedes GT Black Series, which is basically a road legal GT3 car. This car produces some serious downforce, especially with its massive rear wing, which has an active element in the center. A traditional light bar would have destroyed the flow to the back and made the large wing almost useless. And so they now integrated the safety car lights into the front windscreen and rear wing suction side. So the outside shape of the car is not changed by these lights anymore at all. If we have a closer look at how they integrated the lights into the rear wing, we can see that they used LED light bars in the lower side and covered it with glass. So even the suction side of the wing can still work. And although there will be some split lines at the suction side, we will see similar downforce numbers to the road car. That basically means that we don't just have the most powerful safety car in F1 history with the highest downforce ever seen. We also have smallest aerodynamic impact due to the safety car conversion. And that means higher top speed and more downforce. So let's see how the new Black Series is performing as the 2022 safety car and what the drivers will say about its speed. See you at the next video.